Welcome to an Equipment FX demo on the value of customer creation. Thanks for your time. To us, the old joke, we know we're wasting half our marketing dollars. We just don't know which half. They're not funny and, in fact, have driven this business model. What we're trying to do with this brief series of short videos on marketing return on investment is to blow up traditional ways of thinking for equipment dealerships, not the general business world. They've been using these metrics for years, and given what's at stake for your dealership, we can all learn from them and apply what makes sense for our businesses. To know whether or not a campaign, however long or short it is, is to know how many leads were created that came back with friends attached. Nothing more. Leads, sales, profits. And because you probably don't have a full-time analyst, you'll never know, and we mean never uh, know if a mail piece turned into a website visit that turned into an 800 call. And since there's really no way to realistically have everyone ask those well-intentioned questions, how'd you hear about us? only to have the reply come back, well, I found you on the Internet. Then the additional annoying yet well-intentioned probing questions, well, did you first receive a mailer that prompted your visit, or did you complete a contact form uh, also before you called our 800 number? You get the picture. You quickly lose track of what created what action. And since most sales reps almost always tell you that the sales were made because of their, quote, relationship and not a lead, how can you tell? And in our industry, buying cycles can be years long for capital equipment. But in the interim, you might pick up lots of business for parts, service rentals, a used piece or two, who knows. But with our approach, there will be plenty of commission statements matched to web imports that will show the exact day a contact was created and business generated from some form of marketing effort. And when new customers are matched against existing customers, you'll have a good idea of those leads that turn into hundreds of thousands and millions in sales and profits. We've got some pretty compelling stuff to share with those interested parties. But before any of this makes sense, you have to have faith and a commitment to best practices, patience, more importantly, establish the key metrics that clearly articulate where you are and what you want to create, and we'll deliver the ROI that any dealer can make sense of. And with that, a brief introduction into the value of some customer creation. This is an extension of the previous uh, spreadsheet on branch allocation. And you'll notice here, say this investment cost down here is correlated with a plan. Here. It just carries over into another model that we have. And what's unique about this is this will allow you to solve for your current market size, number of customers you currently have, this will automatically populate based on the current target database and what your current penetration is into total opportunity here. But what's unique about this is you'll be able to spell out your own customer creation scenario. You can go by percentage. You can go by increasing a certain number of customers in any particular department, solve for average sale and average margin price. The whole goal being to create over a one, two, three, four, and five-year period, how many new customers and what type of customers and what is the gross profit from those customers that a responsible marketing campaign can and will create provided there's a systematic and long-term plan in place. And coming down here, the value of new customers created, sales price, gross profit per sale, solvable based on margins within your department, and total value of new customers created, gross profits carried all the way out here to a grand total section just by increasing your customers on a year-over-year -year basis by 2.5%. We've got some hard data that supports larger increases, and we can solve for smaller increases at 1%. You can make this as conservative as you want, but when you do that, what happens is your profit from uh, these customers and the cost, the break-even point, tends to be very short in this cycle. There's no mystery to it. And what further enhances this is when you come down to conversion of new customers to other departments, variables that are somewhat unpredictable, yet they are controllable based on your cross-selling and upselling processes internally, which we help to create, you gain additional sales, additional gross profits every time someone comes in the doors and is systematically followed up. We have sales and profit models over here. For serious companies, you can plug and play and create a combined value of new customers created versus gross profit to figure out whether or not the GP can actually pay for a campaign. So for serious companies, we've got some interesting models to play around with. Thanks for your time.